I'd like to welcome you back. Again, it is December 4th, 2022, and the cat is going to disappear. So I'm going to say Abra Kadabra. Okay, we're back. The cat has disappeared. Again, this was very much an unplanned, if given a choice. I do not prefer, not that I'm complaining, double new guitar days because it sort of makes you sort of rush the process um, and doesn't really give you the time to evaluate the guitars as much as you might like. But you take what you can get. When you look out on your front porch and you see two guitars, you say, blessed am I, how fortunate to have two new guitars. So again, this is another in the long list of incredibly reasonably priced guitars from Pro Audio Star in Brooklyn, New York. Yes, the big Squire blowout. <coughs> and this is a classic vibe, 60s, oh no, excuse me, 50s, two color sunburst Stratocaster with a maple fingerboard. And again, just like our last guitar, we're just going to quickly remove this. Uh, this one is definitely not freezing cold like the other one. This had a couple of hours to sit in here and get used to the temperature. Although the other one adjusted really quick, and that was absolutely ice cold while I was playing it. But it tuned up real quick. For some reason the camera cut out or I didn't start it. Uh, so I weighed it. It's about 8 pounds, which to me is sort of a deal breaker. I don't like heavy guitars. But be that as it may, I'm going to go ahead and play it. And we'll be back with some evaluation. Okay, we're back. It's later in the evening. I've played this guitar for about an hour and a half. And I have nothing but good things to report about it doesn't surprise me in the least. I did weigh it a little more accurately. It comes in at 8.4 pounds, which again is just, I mean, I'm not a gigging musician and I sit down most of the time, so it really isn't that big a deal. But man, I wish it was like about seven and a half pounds, maybe even lighter. I just weighed the, the thin line. It's six pounds. And I weighed the uh, Affinity Telecaster and it's 7.2 pounds. And that's definitely the range that I'm comfortable with. But, you know, you just do the best you can with what you have. So, other than that, it's a beautiful guitar. The build date on this guitar, according to the serial number, is December of 2021. And this guitar, of all the guitars that I've gotten thus far, other than the 50s Telecaster, I won't call it fret sprout, but it just needs a little bit of sandpaper on the lower on the high E side to just take a few burrs off. And other than that, it appears to be absolutely perfect. Again, I don't know why this one left the factory with the pickups just jacked up ridiculously. Uh, again, it's all a matter of taste and different people have taste, but I dropped the pickups down and it gave it a much more airy sound. The other thing that I find interesting is that both the 50s Telecaster and the 50s Stratocaster in the white blonde, also affectionately known as faded shell pink, because to me it's not white blonde, it's faded shell pink. The wood grain on this is much nicer, much more consistent. Um, and supposedly all three are made with that southern pine. And uh, you can see that it's probably a three-piece body, but they did a nice job with the grain. The grain just really looks really nice. And again, this is what's called an open box guitar from Pro Audio Star. I would swear that this guitar was never touched since it left the factory. I just, that's my sense. They don't seem to be putting plastic on this or this anymore. Maybe that's a new move on their part. Uh, and the tuners on this work better than most of the other guitars that I've gotten. They're just a little looser, a little more, uh, I don't know what the word is, but they're just more consistent. You don't have, they're not tugging, you're not working against it. So I give this guitar two thumbs up. 
beautiful guitar. Um, while it was on sale, it was $219, and these normally, whatever normal is, but the, the street price, the map price for these is about $419. They're on sale everywhere in the high threes, $380, $370. So $219 is still an incredible discount. And, uh, yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about it. That being said, I probably won't keep this guitar, although I might. It's sort of a battle between this, and the 50s, because it plays really nice too, the 50s Stratocaster in faded shell pink, although they call it white blonde. And then I also have the 60s version of this guitar, which also plays really, really nice. So I, I may end up keeping one of them. What I'll probably do is at some point, before I put them up for sale, is weigh them and see if I can get one. If one can just be under eight pounds. That would be great because I know that the uh, the Classic Vibe Custom Telecaster is about eight pounds, and the Butterscotch Blonde is about eight point three pounds. And I bit of a glitch there. We lost battery. I was probably right in the middle of talking. So, anyways, everything in that you know, all the Classic Vibes seem to be in the eight pound range. So, and uh, yeah, so. Anyways, this guitar is really a very, very, very nice guitar. And I do believe I only have one more coming, and that's because I like the Affinity Telecaster so much that I ordered one more guitar, an Affinity Telecaster in three-color Sunburst, which I don't really, really love Sunburst on Telecasters. Again, just personal taste. You know, I just I like them on Strats better. I don't like pastel colors on Gibsons. It's just personal taste. Who's to account for personal taste? But that'll make a total of 13 from this Pro Audio Star Magnificent, the sale of 2022. I've sold two guitars already. I did buy two of the Cabernita Thin Lines for some odd reason. But I sold that. And then the Cyclone, which I really liked on paper. And I like the feel and I like the look, but I just couldn't get a sound out of it that I was happy with, so I've sold that. So I've got some more guitars that I'm going to put up for sale on the local market here. Make a few bucks off of them, maybe give a good deal to someone else. Um, but yeah, this has been a lot of fun. And there were other guitars I was tempted to get, but I just pretty much a Strat Telecaster guy. And that's what the really good deals were on, so I hooked up on it. So anyways, that's, yikes, three guitars in two days and one more coming. I think I'll just wait and put them all on this tape and then edit them down. But I do appreciate you stopping by again for the 25th time. It is December the 4th, 2022. It is the final weeks of autumn. Soon the shortest day of the year will be upon us and then we'll start Getting those longer days, which is always really nice. The coldest weather up here is certainly ahead of us. We've had some sub-zero days, a few of them, but there will be many more. So we're enjoying today. It was, I think, above freezing by one degree. So, final call. Squire. Classic vibe. 50s Telecaster in two-color sunburst. Maple fingerboard, nice guitar. The one of the up to, one of the two updates they did on this version, the made in Indonesia, is they put the more robust switch in, and they also tapped in the bridge pickup to the tone control, which normally that wasn't. That was just on its own. So those are two nice little updates or improvements or changes, whatever you want to call them. But anyways, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you again soon for another unboxing of a new used open box extravaganza guitar day.